Hello, everybody. Welcome to PBS. Um, our first unit is dealing with um, the Anna Garcia case. So the first part of that is called a sketchy scene. Um, our goals, our learning objectives are to document a potential crime scene using sketches, measurements, and, photo and photography, um, to follow established protocols for collecting evidence, and also to record and analyze evidence to evaluate a potential crime scene. Um, so our case brief, um, so it's your first day on your new job. You hoped your degree in biochem would land you your dream job with the PLTW Forensics Lab, and it has success. You have always been intrigued by how forensic scientists work to investigate evidence that may be linked to a crime, so you are excited to start your training. However, you never expected to work a case so soon, so you've just been called to an urgent meeting, and apparently the police commissioner is calling in to talk to the entire forensics team about a body that has just been found. So that was the call from the police commissioner. They found a body, um, and we have to do some research and some information about it. Um, so two mysterious deaths. As a recruit, you will train under experienced professionals in all facets of forensic investigation. Um, you will monitor um, the Anna Garcia case. That's going to be your training case, and then after you get trained with that, then you're going to do a case on your own. So the scene where Anna Garcia's body was found needs to be documented, persons of interest need to be questioned, evidence need to be analyzed, and the body needs to be examined to help determine the cause of death. So since there has been no formal investigation, it is not yet known if Anna's death was a result of a crime, an accident, or due to natural causes. So that is our, you're going to be your job to find out that information as we progress throughout this unit. Um, so what do we know? We got some key information about some people. Um, we know that the deceased is Anna Garcia. She's a college student. Um, she works in a research lab part-time. She's 20 years old. Um, this is a picture of what she looks like. Um, in forensic investigations and medical cases, the person who has died is often referred to as the decedent. Um, so on eight, um, August 18, 2020, at 10 a.m., Taylor Diaz placed a call to 911, um, who he's also a 19-year-old college student, um, reported finding the body of Anna Garcia, a fellow classmate. Um, Diaz found Garcia lifeless in the Life Science Building, um, and the 911 operator notified the local police, and they got to the scene at 1010. So... 
with a partner, brainstorm a list of things you need to know so that you and your team can solve the mystery of Anna Garcia's death. Um, next to each item, what did your team need to do to answer these questions? Um, then moving on, when it comes to documenting um, the information, um, so the police secured the scene by restricting access to the office personnel only and by establishing a, a perimeter, framing the scene with police tape. Um, you're trying to figure out has the crime been committed. Um, so it's essential that the scene be systematically searched and documented and that all evidence is properly collected. Um, so think about shows that you watch. Like it's very important when you're collecting that evidence so that it doesn't become contaminated. Um, this also includes digital devices and the information they contain. So cell phones, tablets, laptops, things of that nature. So in this unit, you will compile pieces of information related to your investigation of the mysterious case of Anna Garcia and thorough documentation or organization of evidence will be vital to helping you solve this particular case. And that is all for right now.